What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we have our very first over under shotgun on the channel, but this one is kind of unique because as I'm sure you can tell, it's super short. Before we get started, I want to thank BFF Firearms for loaning me the over under to make today's video with, and they call this one Stumpy, so that's the nickname we'll go with. Stumpy the salt off. So this is the Stevens 555 12 gauge over under double barrel shotgun with a salt off 18 and a half inch barrel. Very short for an over under. And unless you SBS it, this is the shortest barrel length you can legally have on a shotgun. Keyword being legally. I liken this thing to a bootleggers or a 1920s gangster shotgun. Probably not quite as short as theirs would have been because they could just cut them as short as they want, but it is a sawed off double barrel, two shots, very lightweight and easy to carry. Not much else to say. I love shotguns and I really love sawed off shotguns. Let's try it. Now side by sides may have been more common back in the day and you do see them quite a bit more often in gangster movies and stuff like that. But personally, I have always preferred the over under. They are perfectly balanced, both barrels in line with each other. And apparently they were the original double barrel. So they've been around forever. These shotguns are very simple to operate. There's a lever on the top. You push that, open the barrels, load two shells and light shit up. Then to eject the shell casings, you push the lever again and open the barrel. I love it. One benefit to these over-unders is there's no cycling action. So you can shoot these as fast as you can pull that trigger twice. Let's see how fast we can shoot it. I'll go for that steel plate that used to be yellow. I don't know if I hit it both times, but that was pretty dang fast. Side by sides and especially over unders are by far the most comfortable, naturally pointing shotguns. I'm assuming because there's not a lot of weight out front and this one is even lighter because it's so short. I think I'm in love. Smoky. Hey guys, really quick before we go any further, I wanna tell you all about Acre Gold, who has been nice enough to support the channel and sponsor today's video. So as you might know, the price of gold has been all over the place lately, and Acre Gold actually allows you to invest without coming out of pocket all at once. The way they do this is they allow you to pay as little as $30 a month. And over time, once your stash reaches the price of one of their gold bars, then they ship it very discreetly right to your door. Acre designs their gold in California and sources their gold from the largest mints in Switzerland. And this is one of the very few affordable, tangible things that will be worth anything in five years. That part kind of surprised me. So if you're interested, visit getacregold.com slash one shot TV and start investing in physical gold today. Again, that's getacregold.com slash one shot TV. And thank you to Acre Gold for sponsoring today's video. If you've ever shot sporting clays, you'll notice that most of the big shots are using over unders. What I've never seen is a salt off over under and two shots is the perfect amount to run the clay popper. So we're gonna try it. <laughs> that is so much fun. I'm gonna see if we can time it a little bit sooner so you guys can actually see it on camera. Better put a sporting clay on there first. <laughs> Not as quick as I wanted to, but I'll take it. So first impressions of little Stumpy here. I absolutely love this thing. Of course, there are pros and cons. Number one, it only has two shots, which is not very many. So for self-defense or something like that, you'd probably be better off with a different shotgun. The other downside is recoil. Because this thing is so lightweight, it definitely kicks harder than a normal 12 gauge. But it's a trade-off I'm willing to take because it looks so freaking sweet. Well, you've probably noticed up to this point, we have only fired birdshot out of this thing. And I assume the more powerful stuff is gonna kick pretty dang hard out of this lightweight shotgun. First up, we have double-op buckshot. 
We're gonna try these on two liters just to make it interesting. <laughs> I think that one did the job. Next up, we have the NSI Law Enforcement 12 pellet double up buck. That last one kicked pretty freaking hard. Let's see if this one's even worse. <laughs> it was. <laughs> And about 50% of that two liter is completely missing. Wow. And we've got to try at least one slug. This is the Wolf Power Shock one and one eighth ounce rifled slug. This is not my gun, so I don't know what it's built to handle, but we'll try one. Not nearly as much recoil as the buckshot. But it looks like it still got the job done. For a slug, that actually wasn't bad at all. All right, so the general rule on shotgun spread is one inch per yard. Obviously, give or take a little, depending on which load you're using and stuff like that. But I have stapled a cardboard silhouette to a piece of plywood, and I wanna see what the spread pattern is with our little sawed off shotgun here, since it is kind of a unique one. And by the way, I'm using the plywood just in case our spread pattern is bigger than the cardboard. We can see it on the wood, but I am gonna be aiming right for the middle of that target. We'll start at about seven yards, self-defense range. That's bigger than seven inches, I'll tell you that. That's what she said. All right, at seven yards away, you can see that is definitely bigger than a seven inch spread pattern. The majority of them did go on our cardboard target, but we also have quite a few that went on the outside of it. I would say that's at least a 12 inch spread. Video games and movies always make shotguns look like they spread right away. And to be honest, I've always kind of wanted a shotgun that did do that because it would be awesome. The truth is most shotguns stay pretty tight even at longer range. So. We might have one here. Okay, that was birdshot, which is not what most people use for self-defense and stuff like that. So next up, I'm gonna try a double up buckshot also at seven yards and see if it has a different spray. Definitely better. Okay, it went a little high, but that is definitely a tighter spread pattern than we got with the bird shot. I would say it's actually right at seven to eight inches from the two furthest pellets of double up buckshot. Dang it, I was kind of hoping we had a super spreader shotgun on our hands, but it doesn't look like it. All right, I was gonna do 10 yards, but we'll just go ahead and skip straight to 15. Once again, starting with the bird shot. And I put a new cardboard target down on the bottom half of that plywood. That's a humongous spread. And hopefully you guys can see all those tiny pellets. There are literally holes from edge to edge on this two foot piece of plywood. So once again, pretty big spread pattern from the bird shot. And double up buckshot at 15 yards. And with the double lot buckshot, we got every single pellet on that cardboard at 15 yards. You can see there's one down here with the wad. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it actually did better than one inch per yard at 15 yards with double lot buckshot because that target is probably only eight to 10 inches wide. Not bad for a sawed off double barrel. So one benefit to shotties like this that don't have cycling actions like a pump or a semi-auto is they can literally shoot anything, even mini shells. Like almost no recoil. So mini shells are extremely soft shooting, but since there's only two barrels, you don't really get the main benefit of them, which is increased capacity. If I'm using a double barrel, I'm probably gonna load it with the most powerful ammo I can find. 
You've only got two shots, you better make them count. Well, when it comes to destroying produce, there might not be a better tool on the planet than a 12 gauge shotgun. So we're gonna try it. We have two watermelons on the table and for this one, we are gonna use the law enforcement 12 pellet double up buckshot, since this is clearly the most powerful load we have. Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, those were some giant watermelons and we had huge chunks flying through the air coming right at us. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, that is all I got for you today on Little Stumpy here, the over under double barrel sold off 12 gauge shotgun. I hope you all enjoyed this thing half as much as I did because I had an absolute blast. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, I'd be glad to hear from you guys. If you liked the video, please hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.